Okay, so what's up, everybody, and welcome to your next XML 2.0 tutorial. This tutorial might span a couple tutorials, but uh, it's gonna be really fun. And what we're gonna be doing is doing some sprite sheet animation, some sprite animation. So you're gonna need a sprite sheet. Uh, if you didn't follow the last tutorial, I would uh, advise you to to get the sprite sheet generator and uh, to get your sprite sheet. So once you have your sprite sheet, uh, uh, you have it downloaded, whatever, and we loaded it in, uh, then you can start this tutorial. So we're going to use a sprite sheet from the last tutorial, but we're going to uh, get rid of this right here. Okay, so we've loaded in, if we're using the same code from the last tutorial, we've loaded in our sprite sheet, right? But we want to handle the animations. So you want to scroll through these images if they're going down, scroll through these images if they're going left, scroll through these if they're going right, scroll through these if they're going up. So in our sprite sheet, it goes down, left, right, up. Okay, so what we're going to do is uh, just at the top here or something, we're just going to create an enum. And in that same order, we're going to make it down, left, right, up. Okay? And uh, let's see, in um, could be called direction. We don't even need to specify a name for it, but it's it's good to specify a name. So we're gonna say enum direction, and uh, that's gonna specify our direction. So the value of down is zero, value of left is one, value of right is two, value of up is three, and we did in that um that order for a specific reason. Okay. Um, so this is what this is what we're going to do. So we're going to um, we're going to make uh, some different cases. So we're going to say SF event. Uh, yeah, key pressed. So if a key is pressed, we gotta check for certain keys. So first thing we're gonna check is is if they press the up arrow key. So we're going to say uh, that if event dot key dot code equals SF keyboard up, then we're going to do, uh, we're going to set a, a, some certain values. So what we're going to do is before we even continue at the top here, we're going to say source X and source Y. So uh, source X is going to be set to 32. Source Y is going to be set uh, to down. Okay. So the purpose that these sources uh, serve is that this is going to let us know where we should start drawing from in the X coordinate. And this is gonna tell us where we should start drawing from in the Y coordinate. And you know what another a good thing about what you know another thing that we can use which is better for SFML? Instead of having two separate variables, since they are related, what we can do is create an SF vector to I. So this means a vector two of ints. And we will just um, call this source and the value of this will be 32. And we'll put down. So source X will represent uh, will be uh, 32. Source Y will be zero. Okay, so we can get rid of this right here. So as I mentioned before in early tutorials, vector twos uh, store two values within under one variable name. So to access the first value, we say source dot X. To access the second value, we uh, um we get so we do source dot Y, right? And if you don't want to set it, the variable um, right there, then and there, we can say source dot X and we can set it to a value like so. Or uh, I'm not sure if we can set it like this. I don't think we can because it's not a constructor. But yeah, so if you want to set a value outside of the constructor, then you're going to have to say set source dot X and put source dot Y. You want to set a value outside of it. Um, so we'll set this back to 32, set it to down. Okay. So now we have our source X and Y. So I'm going to say if they press up, okay, then we're going to say our source dot Y is going to be set to up, right? 
we're gonna say else if event dot key dot code is equal to sf keyboard down we set the source dot y equal to down and I'm thinking you're getting the hang of this so if they press right we set source dot y equal to right else if event if they press left source dot y is equal to left now why did I do source dot y and not source dot x because I'm, I'm sure lots of you guys are wondering well this is the reason why so let us uh let's just run this program quickly so we I mentioned before that the source is going to tell us to where to start drawing so the first row is drawing uh, the player facing down the second row is drawing the player fa facing le uh, left third row is uh, the player facing right fourth row is the player facing up so down is uh, it, we can agree that down is equal to zero right so the way we're going to do it is we're going to say zero times the height of the sprite is where we're going to start drawing from or like uh, the value of the source y times the height of the player is where we're going to start drawing from okay so down is equal to zero right so zero at uh, this the height of this is 32 so zero times 32 equals to zero so we know we can start drawing from here and um start cropping out these images individually if we want to draw the left one then one times 32 is equal to 32 so we know in the y coordinate if we want to draw the sprite facing left then we have to uh the value we have to set it to left if if it's set to right then 2 times 32 is equal to 64 so we start cropping the y coordinate from here to draw these three images and so on and so forth that's the reason why we you do it in the source y rather than the source x okay so if your image was aligned differently like uh it was aligned vertically rather than uh, horizontally then you would you would switch it around so now that we got that set um let's just let's just see how we would actually uh indeed um indeed draw this so right now we have our source uh x set to 32 our source y set to down so now what we got to do is we actually got to crop out the the image that we actually want to so we're going to do this by simply uh, making a call to uh, uh, call to our sprite, uh, sprite function. So our sprite is called player image. So we're, what we're going to do is call set texture rect. And if you can see in the, uh, in the function parameter, it asks for SF in rect. So we're going to say SF int rect and it's asking us how to crop it. So in the last tutorial, we learned how to crop an image. So that's what we're going to do. And uh, before we even continue, the way we set source, uh, we set source x equal to 32, right? But we're, we're calculating source y uh, with 0, 1, 2, and 3, letting us know which uh, frame we're working with, right? So we shouldn't... Uh, we should work with uh, our images with our source X the exact same way. So this will tell us which image horizontally or in the row we're actually referring to. So zero will represent the first image, one will represent the second image, two will represent the third image. Okay, so we're gonna say uh, SF rect int rect, we're gonna crop from source.x times 32, cause that is the width of our sprite uh, image, source x source dot y times 32 because that is the height of it and the width and height is 32 by 32 okay and that's all we got to do for that so when we run this as you can see we got the cropped out image the center image that we wanted right so we got that set so we are almost done. We just have to make it, uh, we gotta make it cycle. But first off, let's run this one more time and we press left, 
and write it up we can see that we got a different images but uh it's not uh it's not erasing what we had on the screen before uh so this is how we're going to uh, what well, this is what we're going to do so we're going to make a call to window dot clear and put that after the display and once we do another direction uh we won't see what we had before what window.clear does is that it clears the back buffer and the back buffer is what you draw to and then it transfers it to the front uh, to the what you see so there's two different things there's uh you it's like you you you're drawing a rough draft on a piece of paper and then you uh do another draft you copy the rough draft onto the real paper and then you just you input whatever you show somebody that that real draft I, that's like the worst example ever sorry guys but what you do what there is is that there's two screens one screen that you can't see one screen that the user can see what it does is draw stuff to the screen that the user cannot see and when we call make a call to windows dot display it transfers what the user can't see to what the user can see and then when we make a call to window dot clear it clears the back buffer it removes everything from the back buffer to the default color which is black so it removes everything sets the color to black and then uh, we can redraw stuff to it okay uh, so that's what it's doing so now that we've got that cleared all we gotta do is just add in one uh, last step so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say source dot X plus plus okay and then we're going to say if source dot X times 32 is greater than or equal to the width of the image. Well, how do we get the width of the image? We say we get our texture dot get size dot X. So that's the width. So if it is greater than or equal to the width of the texture, all we're going to do is set source X equal to zero. So once it reaches the end of it the cycle is going to keep on redrawing over and over again so let's let's see this in action so as you can see it's moving at light speed because we don't have any uh we don't have any like timers or anything to set the interval at which it moves at but as we can see the legs are moving it's at, it's cycling through it when we press right left up so on and so forth we can see it animating so that is it for this tutorial uh, the next tutorial we're going to be learning about live input so we can actually move the animation uh, when we actually press the direction and we'll get live input for that and then after that we'll learn to accommodate uh, for the for the movement speed so that we can uh, actually uh, move the uh, the animation won't move super fast but that is it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching and bye